Hello everybody. That's the guy from Despicable Me. I can't do his accent but I love him so much. Okay, so today's makeup tutorial is inspired by a Costa drink. This is the Mango Passion Fruit Cooler drink. This is not sponsored by Costa by the way, although I wish they did, you know. Anyways. <laughs> Let me stop messing around. You guys really seem to like my spicy chai latte video and wanted to see more inspired drinks video. So I thought I'd do another one. So please let me know in the comments if you do like these type of videos, if you haven't watched mine before. I also did a little taste test for you guys in the beginning. Um, it's my first time having this drink and I thought like yellow, like I'm just obsessed with mustardy yellow at the moment and this just shouts mustard yellow to me. I went very like mustardy on the eyes and I used my Jaclyn Hill palette to do this look and I thought I'd go in with a pop of colour which was a blue sparkly liner from Urban Decay. I just went with the flow and I managed to create this look for you guys. I hope you will enjoy it and we'll jump straight into it. So I've just done my brows. I'm actually really happy with them because I've used mascara on them for like the first time ever. I've never ever actually thought of using mascara on my brows. I used the Urban Decay Perversion um, mascara. This was sent to me but just makes your brows look like extra full. You know, even though it's black, I think it really suits me. And I can tell this would like keep all my hairs in place. Just need to, just need a little bit of a touch up. So yeah, as you can tell, I've got the Costa Mango Pash Fruit Cooler. I think that's what it's called. I literally just ran out of the house to get this for my video. Dedication right there. <laughs> I'm gonna taste it now and not wait till the end of the video when I have my makeup on because this is gonna melt, I can tell, so shall we taste it? It's definitely like a, it's like a slushy, very mango-y. You, you can still taste a bit of like a zingy so I think that's the passion fruit. And it's not like, it's very mango-y but there's something else with it and it's obviously the passion fruit. I really like that. It's my first time trying this by the way. Guess I'll be drinking this throughout the video. I'm gonna do the eyes first. So the first thing I'm gonna put on is my tart shape tapes. And it's the first thing I always put on my lids. Always. I'm just gonna blend this all out. Look, it just makes a clean canvas for your eyeshadow to go on. I don't have my beauty blender, so I've been using a brush to like blend out my concealer. It's not bad, but my beauty blender, I miss it. I basically ripped my pink one apart because I got so frustrated with it. Because <laughs> it won't, like, basically, I used it in my clown video and the white was not coming out because I ran out of my beauty blender um, cleanser. And that's like the only thing that's so good for like beauty blender to like wash it all out and stuff. I didn't have any left and I was just using so many soaps to get all the stuff out and it wasn't coming out and then I just ripped it. <clears throat> I am going to be using my Jaclyn Hill palette today. It looks like this. This is going to be my main colour today. Can you tell? It suits the drink. It's literally the same colour isn't it? Look at that. Same colour. But I'm first going to use this shade right here to set my this is just going to make blending easier. I'm going to use this shade right here as my transition colour. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm just packing it on first and then I'll just go in and blend it. I feel like when you do this patting technique you get the best colour payoff. Bringing it right in the corner as well. And then just get a clean brush and then start diffusing. I'm blending the edges. I kind of learned this from Nikki, Nikki tutorials. Literally, when you start to like move upwards, use like I'm literally barely touching the skin, and it just diffuse it all the way through. I don't know if I should go in with a brown. 
I'm going in with an angled brush and I'm going to grab this shade right here. It's like a warmy brown. So I'm going to take some more of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand and I'm just going to carve the crease. I do like to go a bit higher than my crease line because I just feel like it just opens the eye up. So I'm going to get a flat shader brush and use my main principal colour and we're going to pack that all on the concealer just taking a small pencil brush to get really close to that line that we created I'm just going to take that brown that we use with a small pencil brush And slowly like define that uh, line that we created. I might take a little bit of a darker brown. I am really tempted to use this blue glitter on the crease line. Shall we just go for it? It's just an inspired look, you know. So this is the um, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in Spandex. This is what it looks like. Look at that. I feel like that will go so well with the yellow. I am so happy I did that. I mean, you can't really see, but I feel like that's really helped to cut and make it look more defined in my crease. I just feel like the contrast between the brown and the yellow wasn't high enough. And I didn't want to go with anything darker. This is so pigmented. But just literally, like, take your time with it and dot your way through. Just blending some of that brown on the outer corner that we used in the crease. That's what the eye makeup looks like. Doesn't the blue go so well? I'm so happy with that. I will leave links to everything I'm using in the info box as always, but I'm very happy with that. I feel like once you start drinking it, it's hard to stop. I'm just going to take a little fluffy flat shader brush and I'm going to grab a shade right here just to highlight my brow bone. It's super pigmented so I have to be quite careful with it. But I really like to highlight my brow bone. It just lifts the brow, you know. For eyeliner today, I'm going to use one of my absolute favourites. It's the Rimmel Glam Eyes black eyeliner this is just so precise and it gets the job done really quickly and I hardly mess up with this one well I hope not then I'm gonna curl my lashes I'm gonna go in with my perversion Scara. I think I might get some lashes. This is a really good mascara though. Okay, so I am going to go do the other eye and I'll get some lashes to put on. So I just put my lashes on and finished the other eye. The lashes that I use today are the Eyelore Most Wanted Lashes in Gimme Gimme. These are like my go-to lashes at the moment. I love these. They're so, so pretty. They are new, so I'm going to go on to my skin now. I'm first going to quickly colour correct with my LA Girl Pro Corrector from Pro Concealer Corrector. Blend that all in place. I'm just going to use a bit of my Glam Glow Moisturiser in Nude Glow. A bit more hydration to my skin. I've got like a nice glow. Just on the centre. I'll get really dry on my nose. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydra Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. This was again sent to me. Shake it. It's got really cute packaging. Look 
literally smells like coconut. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro HD Longwear Illuminating Foundation in tan. I haven't used this in a while. I'm using this Kiko brush. It's got an angled shape to it, but it has a foundation brush feel, like a kabuki brush feel to it. It looks really yellow outside, like so dull. I'm then going to go in with a bit of my Tarte Shape Tape and also my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Wheat and I like to highlight with this it's like the perfect colour and I do like to bring it lightly here I don't like to bring this under my eyes because it creases like crazy take your time when you use a brush I like to just really like pat it in in place the reason why I like my sponge to do my under eyes is because it just absorbs any product, like any excess <coughs> product that I put on. It just does the job for me whilst this, so like I have to like kind of like wipe the excess on my hand. This is an Eco Tools concealer brush. It's actually really good at blending concealer. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Shapeshifter palette. This is in the shade Medium Dark Shift. And I'm gonna go in with the cream contour color, which is this one. I'm gonna slightly mix it up with that pinky shade next to it because I never really use that shade. I think that contour color is a bit dark for me. I'm just gonna like press this here. I have like wiped off the excess on the back of my hand from the brush and I just like this palette is just so good. I'm also going to bring some of the um, wheat matchstick underneath. I've got a really small forehead so I'm kind of like not really contouring much on my forehead lately. So I'm just, I just like to contour my cheeks because I've got very prominent cheeks. For setting powder, I'm going to use my W7 Banana Dreams powder. Before I do that, I'm just going to blend in the lines because we didn't set straight away. Kind of like lightly baking me. Um. Whatever's left on my brush, I like to just take it and lightly set the rest of my face. So now I'm going to take a bit of the powder, so this powder right here. I'm going to take this um, brush that I got from a set from Doe Color and I'm going to take a bit of that powder very lightly and just kind of like set that contour. Then for highlight, then for highlighter today, I'm going to be using my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. But actually, before I do that, I'm going to go in with my absolutely favourite brush. I always keep it beside me. I'm going to use my LA Girl Blusher in Just Peachy. Just for like a bit of colour on the cheeks. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my... I watched a video on Shay Mitchell's channel where Ariel did um, her makeup and Ariel's like a makeup artist for like Kylie Jenner and like Kim Kardashian and stuff and he like said that he puts highlighter too high up and he kind of puts it like right there rather than like all here I'm just gonna I've been doing that lately I mean there's not much of a difference but I don't know because he's an expert, I just listened to him. I've been loving to do my cupid though. Go back in again with the setting spray from Urban Decay. So like make everything melt together. 
I'm actually going to go in with some of the yellow that we used first. Then I'm going to go in with a small brush and with that crease colour we used. Let me show it to you. This colour right here. I'm going to go extra close to the lash line. I also have this um, Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Top Coat. I'm not going to put this on my lips, but I feel like this would be so pretty on it. It looks like a star and I'm just going to get like a little brush and just kind of like dab it. That's really pretty. For lips today, I wanted to keep it really warm. So I'm going to go in with my, one of my favourite lipsticks, the Black Up Mac Jumbo Lip Pencil in 22M. I really, really, really like yellow tone browns and I think this is just a perfect colour. I'm going to go in with some of my pro version mascara on my lower lashes. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this series and do let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't like it. Just write in the comments below. I'm curious to know and I'll definitely continue if you do like it. Um, I just had so much fun doing this. Please, please, please give this video a big thumbs up and share it with all your friends and family so they can watch this too if they want to see like a cost to treat inspired makeup tutorial um yeah thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you next time bye